So your computer is dead and you need to get your files back. Hi, I'm Chris and in this video I'll show you how to recover files from a dead computer. In this video I'll be using a PC, but the same principle applies for both Linux and Mac. To recover your files, you'll need something to access your hard drive once you've removed it. The most common tools are a drive docking station or a hard drive enclosure unit. In this video I'll be using a hard drive docking station. Now the first step is removing your hard drive from your dead computer. I have to warn you first though, you might wreck your hard drive doing this, so if your data is valuable, have a professional do this for you. Alright, now it's time to remove the hard drive. I'm going to pop the case cover, remove a few components, like this DVD burner, this multi-card reader, And then finally I'm going to remove the hard drive. Now when you're handling your hard drive be careful not to touch the circuit board. It probably won't cause any issues but if you do get any oil or anything on the circuit board or touch it when it's powered on you run the risk of destroying your hard drive. I'm going to pull the data cable off it, the power cable, and then I also have a mounting plate I'm going to remove. Now I have the screws removed from the mounting plate. I'm going to remove the mounting plate to show you the raw hard drive. So there's the hard drive. There's the circuit board. There's the hard drive connectors. This is the data connector, the power connector. This is a SATA connector type, and other drives might have an IDE connector type. It'll just look different. So the next step I'm going to do is insert this drive into my docking station. And then I'll be able to connect that to my computer and access the contents of the hard drive just like I would with an external drive or with a USB stick. Now one thing I want to show you is if you're doing this with a laptop, a laptop SATA drive has the same connectors as a desktop SATA drive. You can see the smaller drive is a laptop drive and the larger drive is my hard desktop drive. And you, can see, you should be able to see there that the connectors are virtually the same. So what I want to show you here is that the docking station has a cutout just for the laptop drive. And you would just push it in like that. Or if you're working with a desktop drive, you would push it in just like that and turn it on. One thing I want to show you is that this docking station and most docking stations use a standard USB cable. So the next step is to plug your docking station into your computer using the USB cable. Alright, now that I have my docking station plugged into my computer via the USB cable, I'm going to open up the management console and Windows Explorer before I turn on the docking station. There's the management console, and I got to that just by right-clicking on my computer and going Manage. So while I'm here, if I click on Disk Management, I can see the different disk drives that are currently connected to this computer. I can also see that here in Windows Explorer. Now I'm going to turn on my docking station. What we should see is the other drive pop up here. There it is, local disk K. And if I go back to my disk management tool, I can see it here as well. So to get the files back, basically I open up Windows Explorer, browse that hard drive, and then go into the wherever the user's documents are stored. In this case, this hard drive was taken from a Windows XP computer, so that's documents and settings. If it was a Windows 7 computer, it would be uh, the user's folder. And then now you can just find the different user directories, and then there you can go into My Documents, and just copy all your documents from here onto your computer which then you can recover back to a new computer when you get it. Likewise you'll also see things like uh, your pictures and your music and everything. You can just get to it this way. And that's how you recover files from a dead computer. If you have any questions just put them in the comments area below. And if you like this video hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more subscribe to my channel. Thanks.